It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. So I come in, and Josh is filling his uh, now famous water jug, which we still don't know how much, how many ounces it. It's half of one of our in-office water jugs. I know that. No, it's not half. <laughs> I actually measured it yesterday. It's now, like two inches. How much? How no, no, we're talking about your water jug, Josh. <laughs> oh yeah, very good. Small penis jug. How much? <laughs> how much of this is actually it's helping you, and you feel better? And uh, wait for your answer. Or how much of this is just irritating all of us and you're taking great joy in that? Oh, it's it's uh, 100% feeling better. Okay. And again, the, the notion right. here is you... The okay. fact that it's mentioned every morning is actually more annoying to me. <laughs> I mean, the, okay. This thing is, is the size of a huge jug. I mean, it is a huge jug, and you carry it around all day. The notion being that it's got times on it. You're supposed to consume yeah. a certain amount of water by a certain level of right, right. It's marked on the jar. It's got a little more than 112 ounces. Okay. So. Do you think the thinking was that's as narrow as we can make it uh, and still make it? Uh, why didn't they make it any taller and make it a little well, slimmer? If they made it any, well, first of all, it won't fit in the uh, the drink holder on your car or truck. See, I, I don't want anything to do with it if it can't fit my drink holder. Uh, I don't want yeah. Anything. I mean, I don't you could just have a smaller one and fill it are, four are, times. Yeah, it's are a pain you, in the ass. Are you listening, Fiji? <laughs> Square <laughs> bottles? I'm doing, yeah. the, I'm doing the, the so. most logical thing, but if you want to consume <laughs> Again, the I, I correct would compare, amount of water. I would compare this to driving around a tanker truck of gasoline. You would, and this and would be go, a silly analogy. And go, yeah, yeah, going, it doesn't work. Well, I, I don't have to stop for gas this entire year because so, I'm carrying it all in my giant tanker truck. They require you to drink 14 eight-ounce glasses of water a day. Is that the Yeah, that's what they say is good. From 7 to uh, 9. I, seven thought to 9 it, I thought it was 8 ounces. From now on, I will leave it in my office. An hour. So I got a question for you, No, Christy. don't do that. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll miss it. I uh, um, swim at the gym a lot. Yeah, we know. And there are guys that uh, hydrate while swimming. They keep their big jug of water at the end of the thing. What? Yeah, and but I've never seen what? these... Hmm? I've never seen that before. Well, I went, they, they get thirsty. They're working out. Uh, but I've never seen them get out of the pool to pee. Oh, sure. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah there's that. that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to trying to do a math problem here. Of course yeah, there's not. that. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right. Although they could just be sweating it all out into the pool. Yeah. Now, do you, sure. uh, has this affected your uh, your urination uh, schedule? Uh, yeah, I pee probably, I don't know, once an hour or so, or once every hour and a half, or... Okay. Uh, I'm peeing the right amount. I'm peeing the amount that you should pee. So your pee is clear? Uh, throughout the day, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean throughout the day? It gets more clear throughout the day. In the morning, well, I take these vitamins that sort of stain my urine. Huh, Plus, what you've color? been sleeping, so he hasn't like been drinking any water. Okay. Now, d d yeah. d d d d can you take a, Can you get vitamins that will stain at different colors? I mean, that's is not it like the picking, Is it like picking the color of your car? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a car. It's more like a lightsaber, you know? <laughs> no. uh, Jesse Bates the third. You know who I don't care for? Jesse Bates the second. Mm. Oh, no good. Kind of a jerk. Huh. <laughs> How about uh, that? He's uh, been named uh, franchise tag for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's going to stay playing uh, in the uh, secondary for them. Jawan Howard is back, patrolling the sidelines for your Michigan Wolverines. Greg Popovich tied a record last night, and we've got. Did you David, see that they, they, David Rush. when he tied the record? They gave him a nice prize. Oh, what they give him? A new bag. Oh, so Pop. Popovich has oh, got a new bag. A they, call him, <laughs> they call him. They call him Pop. Yeah. <laughs> Pop. Well, then the, the joke doesn't really work. Then does as a brand new bag. I don't know if the jo joke works in the in the. <laughs> it's not a joke as much as just an expression. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I'm damn happy to be standing up here. All you guys celebrating. Come on! Come on! Pew, 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 pew. Let's not okay. lose it. We I, still got it. I got a stack of letters here. In the category, have you ever? Uh, here we go. Real quick one. Just okay. to give you an idea of how this works. Oh, this man. comes to us from Louisiana. Marvin is kind enough to write, have you ever? Marvin. Had your mom come up behind you and hit you in the head with a cast iron skillet oh. after you called her the B word? Wow. Oh. <laughs> I did that 40 years ago and still feel bad about it. I got what I deserved. Man, yeah. a cast okay. Iron skillet. Right. A headache that will you. never go away. Yeah. yeah. Um. Have you ever 
had your wife defecate in her trousers in a restaurant parking lot after eating bad fish. Oh, no. And then watches her dad laugh so hard, he inadvertently spits out his dentures onto the parking lot. That's a, well, boy, there's a lot happening there. Yeah, uh, yeah well, that, that's a little rough. I have one here. Have you ever seen the rain? Coming down on a sunny day. <laughs> no, uh, no, is that real? Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Happy International Women's Day, Christy. Thank you. Hey, Ace, in honor of that, have you ever put a baby in somebody? Mm hmm. No. Well, Not that he knows. I tried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? A roller over, I right guess. Uh, wow. That's not going to do it, she said. <laughs> there's, there's, there's Willie Griswold. With a letter. I'm Chick McGee at the Orange Insoles Sports Desk. Boy, we got sports today. And a letter. And here's Willie. Dear Willie, Chick McGee has been my radio friend for decades. That's right. Last week, however, Chick made clear his support of the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Yeah. I proudly work for a superior school. Uh-oh. The University of South Dakota. <laughs> the Coyotes. <laughs> Chick's jackrabbit endorsement left me feeling like Deborah in Fort Wayne, running low on Miller Lite grapes. Oh. Willie, please be my new radio friend. Please accept these gifts slash bribes to share with the rest <laughs> of the oh, we got So I have all this cool Hot South dog. Dakota Coyotes merch. Oh, yes. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, sax appeal. That I'm must wearing be this when thing. I work out. All right. Oh, that's cool. The music museum. Oh, red and I'm white. I'm wearing this one when I do my mall walks, me and the ladies. Oh, we got coyotes. Are you supposed right. to share nice. this with the rest a of us? Coyote. I gave Ace a koozie. <laughs> I don't right. know what else you want from me. That's right. Christy, I got this fancy lady koozie. Oh, you go. This is your gift for International Women's Day since thank you are an international woman after all. Oh, well. There we go. Well, thank you so much, Jay. This is so Exciting. sweet. You guys rock. Go Yotes. All right. Now, we're up. ears up. Go South Dakota State. Oh, yeah. Keep talking over there, big guy, huh? Jack Rabbits. Oh, ears up. <laughs> we got a new rifle. Ears, ears up. <laughs> Just in time for NCAA Men's College <laughs> Basketball. There's uh, Jess Hooker. She's in the Jess Hooker studio. Hey, Jess. Look like hey. you're going to testify. Yeah, maybe I have some things going on later. All right. <laughs> you look very professional. Look at him. Thank suit you. Suit on. Yeah, I don't belong here. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, there you go. That's very good. Right out of the. Hey, right happy International the... Women's Day, Jess. Thanks, Josh. I believe you're one of those. Yeah, as far oh, as I God. can tell. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, Christy, I think you and I are in the same, like, it's just not that big of a deal, right? I mean, I'm excited. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah? It's, I don't know. Yeah. For me, every know. day is International I didn't know it was International Women's Day I didn't Day either. I walked in here this morning. I didn't either, and, and I was a women's studies major in college. In oh. celebration of International I Women's Day today, I will only watch Asian porn. <laughs> <laughs> International Lady that's, that's That was the intent, <laughs> I'm sure. That you were a women's sense. studies think... major? Yeah, I was. Yeah. I there, was. I see, I, without saying what it is, was there a nickname for any of the uh, literature courses? Um. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. No. T- no. Right. I, I. I. I knew a I woman that exactly. insisted on. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Mm-hmm. I got kicked out of my women's studies class for wearing a shirt that said "No fatties." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see why that would be problematic in that right. class. Mm-hmm. And they made those in your size. How ironic! <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> you know there are fat guys out there that just think fat fat women are the. I'm, I would never. <laughs> There's Ace Cosby. Oh, sorry. There's Willie Griswold. What is up? I'm Chick McGee at the Orange Insole Sports Desk, and here's Tom. Uh, We got letters. We're doing something. I don't know if you're familiar with this, Jess, but uh, we're doing a new feature. Yeah. It's called Have You Ever Seen? Oh, okay. And it involves events. I'm sure that something in your life has taken place in which you'd go, wow, you should have seen this. Uh, Yeah, I have Um, have one. one You should tell that uh, lake story. I know. That's the one that I usually go to. Um, Have you ever seen... (laughs) Uh, 20 cousins, all under the age of 12, uh, on the beach, and a snake comes up. Oh. Right? So all these kids scatter. (laughs) My dad walks out on the beach and wants to show us there's nothing to be scared of. This is just a snake. Don't worry. (laughs) He goes out, grabs the snake by the middle. Oh, no. Yes. And it... Just bites him all up his arm, blood <laughs> pouring down, puts it in the other hand, bites him all up that arm on his chest. There's kids screaming, there's blood everywhere. Don't be scared of you, folks. Nothing wrong with the snake. He goes up to a tree and grabs it by the tail and proceeds to beat it free <laughs> until it's just in pieces. Snake skin and head flying everywhere. Like I said, nothing to worry about. Yes. Amazing. We were traumatized. Yeah. See, kids? Yeah. 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 No. Uh, he's more scared of you. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jess, and Jess Hooker's Hooker. here. She was just hook, hooky. delivering, hook, 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 <laughs> delivering hook, food. Hook, hook, That's yes. what caused me to lose my well, Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. We have... Um, <laughs> Are these Lord. are these pickles in these That's cups? That's what cups. these are. This is a TikTok trend. Um, oh great! No. Uh, yeah, enjoy. So these this. are Tide Pod. Tide Pod. Uh, yes. Yeah. Pickle, no. Tickle, pickle, they are, no. Pickle. Everything is everything is a, is very normal. Um, but what we did was we took um, kosher dills, and by we I mean me, um, and we put a package of cherry Kool Aid in one of them. <laughs> My oh. ex-girlfriend was Jewish. She used kosher dills. So it's cherry Kool-Aid on here, it's then? It's cherry yeah. Kool-Aid, and then there's another one that has just a packet of ranch. Oh, I threw it back. <laughs> Willie, <laughs> Willie had it on his fork, okay. and he was whipping it around. I was mad that no one laughed at my kosher okay. dills show. Okay, hang on a second. Well, it didn't Willie, make any you wouldn't sense. think we'd have to tell you not to throw the pickles. <laughs> I was doing yeah. this. Yeah. Well, so, no, you did it again. <laughs> you didn't that time. That was so good. wait a second. So I'm sorry. So we've got, there's two pickles in each one of these things, two yeah. slices. One's a regular kosher dill? Well, Green no, one is red. No, none of them are regular. So last week after um, the biscuits throw them and away, gravy, Christy. Just throw them I just, away. The smell is not my favorite. Throw them away. I, okay. I'll make sure to get this stuff approved Cherry's beforehand next time. No, it's okay. Everybody else okay, loves so dill pickles. Jess, um, the red ones are dipped in cherry Kool-Aid? Yeah, so what I did was is I poured a package of cherry Kool-Aid into the dill pickles and let it marinate in the fridge for a week. Wow. Oh. Yes. So it's in the dill pickle juice. Yes. You don't add any yes. s anything no, else. Nothing extra. Oh, and then okay. the other one is a ranch packet. A ah, dry ranch. similar. Yes. I hate this. I like the cherry. <laughs> Do you like the cherry? I like the cherry, too. I'm a little nervous because I do not care for cherry anything. Oh, okay. And then... particularly cherry Kool-Aid. Okay, well, oh. really? if anybody wants to do this at home, but you I'm can gonna choose try it. any flavor What's of flavor? What, what flavor? I got to your... tell you, the cherry is not bad. Yeah. <laughs> right? I think it's bad. <laughs> this one's ranch. It's ranch. That's pretty safe. Mm. Yeah, anything with ranch on it. I mean, oh. and I, it's and intense, I mean, right? That's so bad. And I mean anything, Josh. You oh, put really? ranch on it, I'll eat it. Uh, anything. Good, uh, good, good to know. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love anything with ranch. This is really good. This is—they're both good. Yeah, it's really odd that it's not as bad yeah. as you think it's going to be. Are there a lot of these eating the food slash TikTok trends out there? Or um, yeah, there are. There are a lot, and um, they kind of come in waves. This pickle thing is oh. the big one. Right <laughs> they do come in waves, like nausea. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is anti TikTok. I don't know if you caught that. Uh, it's uh, uh, delicious. I think they're both good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Something. Fun I wish we could have. I, I I would like to have tasted the the the, the uh, non the regular dill. Yeah. yeah. Just to see what it how, but I both how it compares. They're both pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. I eat both my pickles. I have clean bowls. Very good. Very good. Cleaned your plate. Thank you you get the cold stuff. Oh, we have a surprise. Oh, oh, do we? No. I am very excited, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. It's uh, staff member Jeff Oske, I think. Is that Holy you, Jeff? Uh, this is Jeff Oske sitting in for Dick Hitswater. And this is a <laughs> failed to mention some other news, St. Patrick's Day editorial. Hey. Oh. Oh. Uh, before I get started, though, Josh, uh, I know Tom blows you crap about your water bottle every day. Yeah. yeah. I personally, I'm behind you 100%. I feel like you can't get enough water throughout the day. I'm joining in. <laughs> Hey, he's got an entire uh, water cooler. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. And good for you, Jeff. It looks like you're almost done with that. I, uh, I, I'm drowning. Uh, <laughs> Waterboarded yourself in there. All right. With St. Patrick's Day right around the corner, I wanted to give the listeners some St. Patty's Day pre-gaming tips to help oh. you get ready for the most sacred of drunken holidays. Okay. <laughs> We're ready. So here are five tips to help you get ready for St. Patrick's Day. Number one, go green early. Really. Oh. Drink a lot of Welch's grape soda. Like a lot of it. It will turn your turds a biohazard neon green that will make you say, wow, I should go see a doctor immediately. <laughs> I don't know why it works or how it works, but it does. Yeah. Terrifyingly well. Nothing gets you in the mood quicker for St. Patrick's Day than a bowl full of green floaters. <laughs> green floaters! Oh. Take another sip. Yeah. I'm looking a big swig be, here. Stay hydrated, pal. 10-gallon cooler. <laughs> Tip number two. Put a hefty retainer down on a good defense lawyer. 
before all the good ones are spoken for. (laughs) Take it from me, there's nothing worse than being stuck with a public defender. (laughs) It's honestly the difference between time served and two months on a drunk and disorderly. (laughs) Special shout out to my public defender, Larry the Lawyer. (laughs) (laughs) Which leads me to tip number three. Ah. Right here. Ugh. These are tips if you're getting ready for St. Patrick's for Day. For St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> uh-huh. Work on your online dating profile. Sure. That way you'll be ready to go when your boyfriend or girlfriend dumps you for being a hot mess and fighting with the bouncer. <laughs> Take it from me, while I personally never fought a bouncer, I've had three girlfriends and one ex-wife who had no problem fighting with bouncers. <laughs> <laughs> Not like all at once. That would be weird. Individually one-on-one over time. <laughs> so have your online dating profile. Profile ready to go. That way, when your special star, someone starts acting a fool, you'll be ready to swipe right. <laughs> Tip number four scope out a good dumpster ahead of time. Sure. One you can drunkenly make out with your girlfriend behind before she breaks up with you two hours later because you won't fight a bouncer who kicked her out of the bar for acting a fool. (laughs) Choose wisely, though. This will be the same dumpster that you end up puking and passing out behind at 2 a.m. before being arrested at 3 a.m. for public intoxication. (laughs) And finally, tip number five. Go hide a tube sock with three bars of soap in the toe and your favorite Irish bar today before they start frisking you on St. Patrick's Day. That way, when it pops off on St. Patty's Night, and it will, you'll be the only one in the place prepared to properly defend yourself. (laughs) See if O'Malley doesn't shut his big stupid face when he takes three bars of Irish spring to the jaw. This has been Jeff Oske sitting in for Dick Hitchwater from the Some Other Failed to News to mention editorial <laughs> and these have been your St. Patrick's Day pre-gaming Woo-hoo. tips. Very ah, good. Thank you. Enjoy that water. Oh, careful there. You really spill. Oh, oh, no, no. oh, oh, there was more water there than I thought. <laughs> Don't go borrowing one of my shirts. Don't get electrocuted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Very handy. Note. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com. Or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.